Moving forward tonight, migrants and asylum seekers continue to come to Tucson while other border crossers are turned away as Title 42 stays in place for now. News for Tucson's Eric Fink joins us live at City Hall downtown with more on what the recent Supreme Court decision means for Title 42 and its impact here in Southern Arizona. Eric. Sean, Monica, good evening. This is the lawsuit that the Supreme Court based its decision to keep Title 42 in place on, despite the Biden administration wanting Title 42 to come to an end. That is not going to happen at least for another several months. Earlier tonight, I spoke with a director of a local migrant shelter who says the limbo for everyone involved continues. I don't think anyone has a clear path forward right now. And um, that's concerning for all of us. Teresa Cavendish is the executive director of Casa Alitas, a temporary shelter that welcomes migrants and asylum seekers. Cavendish says Casa Alitas can sometimes get 700 to 800 migrants a day. Only weeks ago, she says she and her team were told to expect up to 1,200 a day when Title 42 was removed. In the long term, it's a pretty heavy burden to try to, to carry. This week, the Supreme Court decided to keep Title 42 in place through the spring, a decision that allows immigration officials to continue to expel migrants and asylum seekers at the border. The court chose to kick the can down the road just based on politics. From a human perspective, this kicking of the can, so to speak, will come with an immense cost of human suffering to vulnerable people trying to, to legally do things that quote unquote the right way. Cavendish says Catholic Community Services works with both Pima County and the city of Tucson to make sure the migrants who get dropped off here have a place to stay. That includes working with partners up north. We have been working to transport through private transportation individuals from Tucson into various shelters in Phoenix. That has become very, very valuable to all of us um, in keeping folks sheltered. It's a crisis that continues and one that takes its toll. We only walk a couple of steps of their journey with them. And the, the open hearts of our folks who welcome and, uh, and shelter the people coming to us, I mean, those hearts are, they said they're, they're wide open, but they're also breaking at times. And Title 42, that case expected to be argued in front of the Supreme Court in February. The high court is expected to issue a decision sometime in June.